I'm gonna wave my magic brush and it's broken. I'm gonna wave my magic brush and June favorite. No, it's corny. Corny, 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 corny. Year he, year he. I declare it is June favorites. Can we just start the video? The year is gone already. Please excuse my nails. I need to go get them done. I'm just waiting for my nail my nail technician to come back into town. Girl, hurry up and please come back because my nails need you so, 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 so bad. But anyway, <laughs> these are the June favorites. I have a few items here that I'm going to show you. Some of the stuff I've just been loving for the month of June. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's the purpose of June favorites, right? Okay, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I've been loving is this cleanser for my face. It is the Biore, yeah, Biore Free Your Pores Charcoal Acne Clearing Cleanser. And this is what it looks like. As you can tell, I have been using this bad, baby. Yes, 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 yes. And this contains um, salicylic acid. And I love to clean this um, after I've taken off my makeup. I'll take this and clean my face with my Michael Todd cleansing brush and my face feels so refreshed. Now it does have like this mentally minty tingling feeling, but it doesn't bother me at all. It's not like overly powering or anything like that, but I actually like it. So this is the first thing I have been loving this month. And the second thing that I've been loving, it kind of goes in conjunction with this, is this Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. And I use this to um, put on my face to melt the makeup off. And I want y'all to see this thing is almost gone. Yes, I have been using this up, baby. This right here will melt the word, like the most stubborn, most stubborn makeup off your face. When I tell you it gets rid of mascara, stubborn eyeliner, it gets it off and I just use this and I massage it into my skin and then I'll just take my makeup remover wipe wipe it away and then take this and then cleanse my face to make sure I have all the makeup off so that's something else I've been loving for this month another thing I've been loving is this fresh rose hydrating face serum I've had this for a while but I just pretty much rediscovered it and I realized why I love it I usually wear this um, when I put my makeup on, before I put my makeup on in the morning, um, after I've washed my face and used an astringent, I'll come in and put this on my face and, um, let it sit for a little while and then I'll apply my, just do my makeup. But this is absolutely perfect. It's not heavy. It is very, very light. And I like the, um, pump that's on it because you just twist the top and the pump just pops up like that. And then you just twist it back down and just like that. But this smells so refreshing. It smells like rose and just freshness. Roses and freshness. This right here. I love this stuff right here. The next thing I've been loving, they kind of go together. One is this Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. I got this in a boxy charm. I have been using the heck out of this thing. If I can get it open. Come on, sometime this year. There we go. But I have been using this color up right here. I haven't quite made a dent in it, but this is a lot of product, but I have been using this a lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. I have been using this a lot. And then I have been using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the number six. This right here is, I have it on today will get your brows all the way together. And that's what it looks like right there. This right here will get your brows all the way together. And it also has a spoolie on the other end so you can just brush your brows. Love this brow pencil. And sometimes I will use them together. I'll use this to outline my brow 
and then use this to fill it in but today I just use this along with some brow setting gel so but yeah that's something else I've been loving the um, next thing I've been loving is this LA Splash Architect Slim Liner my I have hooded eyes so using a thick eyeliner and what I mean by thick I mean like the if you notice one of the Kat Von D eyeliners it has a thick brush on the end of it this one is very very thin like when I say it makes the thinnest line I mean it makes the thinnest line and it is very 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 black so this is perfect for my eyes I absolutely love it I'm gonna go ahead and try to order about three or four more so I can have them as backups because the way I've been using this it's gonna be gone real real Real, 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 real quick. Okay? So, yeah. Stuff just dropping. Wouldn't be a video if it didn't dry. Um, another thing I've been loving is this Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. This is the mascara that Maybelline um, team with, with Makeup Shayla and Makeup, I'm sorry. Makeup Shayla and Manny MUA. This, I love this mascara. It it gives my lashes length and volume, but it's not heavy on the eyelashes, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, the MAC 3D waterproof mascara, I feel that like that clumps up my eyelashes, so I have to I have to lightly use that, like lightly use it. Because if I have a heavy hand like I like I normally do, if I use it with a heavy hand. I can't even wear lashes that day. I just have to use that because, yeah, <laughs> that's out the window. But this right here, I have absolutely been loving this mascara. Um, there's a particular blush I've been using just about every day, and this is the Milani Baked Blush in Rose Red Vino. I'm sorry. I was fixing to say Rose de Oro, but this is Red Vino. That is what it looks like. It is a a true red to me is a true red blush with gold shimmer in it and it is so so beautiful. I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing the liquid blush um from NAR, a liquid a, a liquid blush from NARS today in Dolce Vita. But this right here is so 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 pretty. And let me see if I can swatch it for you real quick. That's what it looks like. It does, it's not heavy. It's not like that. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, you can build it up to make it to where it's ooh, but you don't have to. You can just put a, like a light flush on there, and it'll be just the lightest little flush, and it is so gorgeous. It is so, 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 so gorgeous. And I have also been loving this Sephora Small Stippling Brush. This is the brush in 42. Now, I've been loving this to put my highlight on. This is what I've been using lately to put my highlight on. Um, to me, this applies perfectly. I've seen some people use it to um, blend out their concealer, even blend out um, corrector for your face. But I pretty much use it to put on my highlight. And this is what it looks like. I'm not sure of the price. I think it's $25. That's why I only have one. No, I take that back. It's on sale for $14. That's right, because I have it in my cart. Yeah. I have stuff in my cart for payday. <laughs> so I'm getting about three more of these for my kit. But yeah, this is a very, very nice blush to have. Blush, brush, my bad, brush to have. Um, just dropped it. <laughs> the next thing I've been loving is this black opal powder. I don't know if I mentioned this last month. If I did, it's a repeat. So, and this is in the color 03 medium. And this is a loose powder brush, a loose powder, and it has some color to it. It's not an invisible powder, but that's what it looks like. And this is in the color 03. I just use it to pretty much just set my face every day. I absolutely love the finish of it. It doesn't make my face feel heavy. It's not cakey looking. I absolutely love this powder love it love it love it and I've also been loving the Smith rosebud salve for my lips to moisturize my lips like I said my lips are chapped throughout the day even in the summer 
I get dry lips. So this right here has been my lifesaver. And I love the fact that they put it in a tube. Um, now they still carry it in like the tin form, but I like the tube better. It's just, it's easy for me instead of having to take it off, put my finger in, all that good stuff. I just take it and put it on my lips and top it back up and throw it back in my purse. But this is absolutely great. I love this. If you don't have it, you should get some. They are sold at Sephora. Now, this eyeshadow palette, this is a Maybelline City Mini Palette. And this is in the um, rooftop bronzes. And I'm going to take it out of its little sleeve right here. These are the colors. And this is new. These are the colors that are in this palette. Now, these are all shimmers. So... And I'm going to tell you why I love this eyeshadow. This is supposed to be an eyeshadow palette. Let me tell you why I love it. I have been using this color and this color as a highlight. The highlight that everybody's talking about that Maybelline has out, I can't find it. But when I saw this palette and I saw these two colors, I go, oh my God, it looks exactly like that. So I just mix this and this together and get that highlight and it works perfectly i absolutely love this and i'm gonna mix it together now to show you what i'm talking about that's it right there those are the two colors mixed the colors they don't have names on them unfortunately but it's these two colors right here that i've been using to mix together to get that highlight that i absolutely love and i use this pretty much every every single day and again this is in rooftop bronzes now i've been loving a lip palette from l'oreal and this one is the la lip palette or the la palette lip however you say it and this is in nude 03 i saw on instagram where meryl hollis was using this in his kit and i was like oh my god now if he and if you don't know him, right now he's doing makeup for for the Wendy Williams show. Um, he was at once a Black Opal um, Cosmetics ambassador, I believe. But he's a famous makeup artist. I absolutely love his work. But when I saw he had these, he put out like a picture on Instagram of his of like his setup and he had this and he had the purple one so I went out and got both but I have been using this one and I use it today I've been using this color as you can tell and then that color I usually put this on the outer perimeter of my lips and then this on the inner perimeter to kind of get an ombre look and I absolutely love the way this feels on my lips it is not heavy these are some of them are creams there's one two three four creams one two three mattes and then the highlighter right there so yeah i have absolutely been loving this um would i travel with it maybe like if i'm going out of town like i'm going to visit my parents or you know just a weekend getaway with my husband i probably would it comes with a little lip brush and the, don't throw this lip brush away this is a darn good lip brush dog on it this is a good lip brush for this palette and it just goes in just like that. But I mean, it's compact enough where you could travel with it. Um, but like I said, if I was just going on a long weekend or an extended trip, I would. But for every day, I might take it one or two days, but not every day. But I, I cannot deny the colors in this palette are absolutely gorgeous. They're good. I love it. I absolutely love it. I can't complain about it. <laughs> this is, if you don't have this, go get this from your local Walmart, Target, wherever they sell it. I think mine was like $12 at Walmart. So yeah, go ahead and pick you up one and use it. Use it, use it, use it. And the last two things I have been loving go together. And this is, this is for my nails. This is the Burt Bees Lemon Butter, Butter, Lemon Butter <laughs> Cuticle Cream and the Bliss Kiss Simply Pure Hydrating Oil. Now this is a cuticle cream, this is a cuticle oil. I actually use them both together, especially at night before I go to bed. Now I'll, I have a um, twist pin of this in my purse that I use every day after I wash my hands um, at work. And then I use these two at night. I just take the cream, 
and I put it on my cuticles and I massage it in my in my cuticles very very good and then I'll let it sit for about five minutes and then I'll go in with the bliss kiss oil and then rub that in my into my cuticles and then I just go to sleep and I wake up and my cuticles are soft they're not cracked I have really 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 dry cuticles and when they get too dry they peel they crack they hurt so these two have been a life saver for me I got this from Walmart and this from blisskiss.com I'll put the link in the description box below where I got this um, follow her on Instagram she also has scented cuticle oils me personally I just like the unscented ones so yeah that's where I got that from and I've been loving that this month so ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching those are all my favorites for the month of June if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel click that bell so you can be notified you I want you guys to let me know what you want to see on my channel right now I'm just free balling it like whatever comes to mind okay this is what I'm gonna film if I'm gonna film a tutorial I'm gonna film a tutorial if I'm gonna film a get ready with me I'm gonna film a get, a get ready with me I know the next get ready with me will have my duck story in it so be on the lookout for that <laughs> it's gonna be funny so yep yeah. but like I said just give me your suggestions I'll probably I'm gonna try to leave a poll up here somewhere I don't know where it is just look up here somewhere <laughs> a poll will be there somewhere <laughs> Um, asking you what would you look and it'll be like three options or how many ever options they allow me to do and um, you know what you want to see next on my channel so yeah thank you guys for watching I really appreciate and love all of you if you're new to my channel welcome to my crazy crazy world I'm gonna tell you now you're gonna hear kids in the background I got three of them and one of them is gonna be one Saturday and she gives everybody the business. That's her. <laughs> so, again, thank you for watching. I appreciate all your love and support. And in the meantime, in between time, be safe, be blessed, and have a wonderful day. Bye, y'all.